It's near Halloween. I go places and people always think I'm wearing my Halloween costume. I've had that happen every single year. Hello and welcome to my closet. We are going to hang out in here for a week and get dressed together. I'm just going to share what I wear every day, just thought processes, inspirations that lead into the outfit, and all the details. So let's spend the week together and get dressed. And while we get dressed this week, I want to introduce you to the sponsor for today's video, which is absolutely perfect. I'm partnering with Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try out new designer fragrances every single month for only $17. And I think just like always playing dress up, I love that they allow you to try, experiment, and find your scent. So we're gonna do that this whole week. We're going to play with different scents as the week goes on. And I love this because you don't have to invest a lot of money in a designer fragrance. You can just try Scentbird and they have really flexible subscription plans. So you can pause, cancel, or skip anytime you need to to just make it a really hassle-free experience. And every month you get to pick the fragrance so there's no surprises. So it's something that you want to try out. And they have so many to try out. There's up to six different fragrances. They have unisex options, perfumes, colognes, Gucci, Prada, Versace, all the fun, fabulous ones, and also some independent fragrance brands. They come in these great bottles that is a 30-day supply of the fragrance, so you can really give it a try for an entire month to decide if it's one that you would wanna invest in or if you wanna move on to a different fragrance. And I've been a fan of Scentbird because one, I'm very particular on my smells, so I don't love to buy a whole bottle. Often even sometimes I spray it and then I think, oh, I love that, and then I've worn it a few days and then I decide I don't like it. So I really love that you can try something out before committing to it. And this is how I discovered that I loved the Chloe Nomad fragrance. I had Scentbird, I tried Chloe, I was wearing it all the time and just completely fell in love with it. And so I have a bottle, which actually I need to replace really soon, but I do feel like I'm in the mood for some new fragrances. So I'm really excited to try out the three that I have this month and then continue on into the other months and really find that next fragrance. It's gonna be my signature for fall. So this month I am playing with Florica by Spongenel, the Mystic Rose. I love the scent of this. It has a really romantic, scent and it's got a mix of rose, water lily, and sweet musk. So I'm gonna play with that this month. I also have Michael Germain, the Sugarful Kiss. So this is definitely something a little bit different for me, but I think it smells amazing. It's this juicy red cherries with some orange zest. It's got some mix of flowers in there and it's so playful and velvety and lush. And then I love DKNY, so I'm trying out their Be Delicious with a little bit of magnolia. It's got green apple, white woods, grapefruit. It's such a really refreshing scent and I don't know, just something yummy about it. We love to play dress up, we love to switch it up. So I think Scentbird is just that added little dose into your dress up closet. And so if you wanna try out Scentbird, you can use my coupon code BJONESTYLE, you'll get 55% off at Scentbird. And that's just a little over $7 for your first month. And this is available for US and Canada. All right, I'm gonna start getting dressed for the week. It's Monday. I'm gonna actually start off my day with Florica. I'm excited about this scent. It has a really refreshing, mm, oh my gosh, I love this. So good. Um, anyways, I feel like this is perfect for Monday. So I'm excited to start playing. All right, Monday. I've started this new thing. Mondays used to be the day where I would work out and then sometimes not get dressed because I would just be so, just trying to get all the things done, just sit and answer emails, the boring stuff, not really doing too much except accomplishing lots of tasks. But my new thing is that I just have kind of picked a Monday uniform. I pick my favorite men's Dickies denim that I've just, I love it. It just feels good. It feels like I'm wearing sweatpants, honestly. And then I just kind of build a look around that very basic in a way, maybe a blazer or a t-shirt, just something. 
but I'm still getting dressed and I'm also wearing all the things I love. I love a blazer, I love those denim, I always pick shoes that I like, and it feels good because I still feel inspired. I feel like I'm accomplishing something. I feel more, you know, in the groove than staying in my workout clothes all day. But I also don't have to think and yeah, it just, it makes Monday easier. So we're gonna do my Monday uniform. My men's stickies, my favorite denim. Okay, so they are big. What I do, I could do the crisscross button that I have from Amazon and button it to the side, but I just grab a great waist belt. And this is my favorite belt of all time. I think everyone should have just a great brown leather with a gold buckle in their closet. I even pull it so that it's flat in the front. I don't really mind this at the back and I don't really mind this here. I think it adds a good shape to the denim and then with a blazer you don't even notice those little parts so I love it. Sticking with simple for the top this is just a little Zara knit tank that I got at Savers and I just like it's a neutral it's really warm here still so I can't go crazy with layers too much. And this has been a go-to men's blazer that I've been wearing a lot. It was frayed all along the edges. I don't know if somebody did that or if French Connection did that, but I love it. changing my mind. And I'm gonna go with a navy pinstripe blazer. Is it better like this? Yeah, it's kind of better. Sorry, I'll keep it like this now. <laughs> For shoes, I'm gonna grab these pointy toe square loafer style shoes. For earrings, I'm going to do gold button style. And then one final accessory that I think can make a huge difference in the outfit, and that is these incredible glasses that are giant, and you just can't not feel fabulous, and you're just effortless. And this is so much just easy breezy running around on a Monday, uniform dressing, but I feel really chic. I feel like I could be, you know, almost like Jenna Lyons, Iris Apfel, somebody who wears big quirky glasses. I love it. And I'm ready for my Monday. So from the bottom to the top, this is my Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Tuesday and I'm feeling so inspired. Let me share why. I feel like I'm endlessly searching for just new inspiration to kind of get me thinking about new things and my friend Chelsea Von Mock who you if you've been a follower of my channel for a while I've visited her store in the Santa Monica area multiple times. She's a stylist. She now has a vintage store and we met so many years ago, you can actually go back to a video a long time ago where we talked about how we met. We have a very funny story on how we met. So this is your little note to go back and watch the video and I'll link it right here for you and down in the video description below. But anyways, she thinks about, I feel like fashion and style the way that I do in terms of we both kind of get lost in these fantasies of characters and inspiration and she's amazing at pulling together music that goes with it and vintage films and art and everything to kind of create the magic that she does. And so she's incredible and always so inspiring to me. And she has started a Substack, which you have to subscribe to because uh, just from the one that I received, I'm so inspired. She created like a little mini magazine within her Substack 
and she created a character for it and then she from that has her shop and curated a collection with that in mind. And the character she created was called Coquette Vampire. She tells the story of the character and then goes into like different elements of that character's style. <laughs> it's all the things I love. It's all the way that I love to think about styling. And so with that, she kind of created different elements within the style and one of them is kind of the day job of this coquette vampire and it's a little more buttoned up and she references you know old Celine and some power dressing and I almost think of like a buttoned up slightly Victorian and then at night kind of channel something different so I was I was just so inspired I pulled together a rack I put together a whole nother mood board and it just got me thinking in all new ways. So thank you, Chelsea, for doing that because I felt like I needed a new spark and it, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to show you real quick the rack that I put together with her inspiration and then we're going to get dressed from that today. So this is the rack and I went with a lot of lace, some reds, some textured pieces and today... I am already kind of brewing an idea right here with this vest, this shirt, and maybe this skirt. So we're gonna start here. And because I'm gonna do this lace skirt that's see-through, I put on little bloomers that are actually old bathing suit bottoms. And then I did some uh, fishnet tights over the top. And I think she would have on a tie with this. She's very buttoned up during the day, but in this kind of Victorian ladylike way with the menswear twist. So we're gonna pull out, I feel like this is my go-to tie all the time. I love the exaggerated print of it, but then the fact that it's, you know, a neutral with the brown and the cream. And it's more fat, like a good 70s tie. This look needs a belt right here and I have not worn this in forever but this amazing black belt I feel like she would have some kind of a panther on her belt for shoes I'm gonna wear these Saison velvet big platforms I love them with the fishnet tights creates a little moody drama. And then finally for some earrings, I'm gonna go with these pearl drop earrings. I like that it has that design on it. Feels more Victorian, romantic. And a vintage Judith Lieber bag for this outfit. I love how this all came together and with that inspiration of the coquette vampire and I think I'm just gonna kind of leave this rack out this week I might not channel it every day but it's just something that's getting my brain brewing and I'm so excited about it it feels fresh and fun and I just felt like I don't know I just feel like I haven't done something like this in a while where I just really channel a full character so let me show you from head to toe from the bottom to the top that is my look for Tuesday I'll see you tomorrow bye it's Wednesday and I got quirky and I already got dressed but I wanted to share with you what I'm wearing today and how it all came together. I just thrifted this amazing midi length skirt from Savers and it's just so much fun. It's fall. What I liked about this that's a little bit different is I feel like skirts like this often, you know, in this vintage 70s style are a little bit longer. So they feel tougher to style in the everyday, but because this is ankle length or just above the ankle, it feels more wearable. Uh, it's still warm outside, but I wanted to dress up something fallish. 
So I paired it with this vintage 70s polo shirt, which I love that the yellow and red and green kind of went with the color scheme down here in the printed skirt. And then I pulled out some red fishnet tights. I got these from Urban Outfitters. Some of my favorite little Mary Jane shoes. They look like Prada, but they were an eBay find. And I don't even think it has a label or I can't see the label in it. And then I did something a little bit different with my hair. I have freshly snipped kind of French hair in the front. So I made more of like a curly bang situation and then paired it with my fall or kind of end of summer, early fall sailor hat that I found over the summer and went with these bow earrings with the red that I got at, what is it called? Eye Candy in New York, which is an amazing vintage accessory store in Chelsea. So if you're in the New York area or visiting, you definitely need to go over to Eye Candy. Oh wait, final touch. I'm grabbing my Gucci clutch. I still need to fill it up for the day, but I'm going to grab this to go with this outfit. This feels kind of reminiscent of Gucci with Alessandro Michelle. So this is my look for Wednesday. From the bottom to the top. That's my look for Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. It's Thursday and I am still feeling all the inspiration from the Coquette Vampire. Yesterday I kind of took a little break and did something else, but I think overall I just have felt so inspired and it's made me step outside of just even a little bit of the box that I feel like I've been in <laughs> lately. Sometimes you just need fresh inspiration and then you can really explore it from there. So it's been really fun for me this week. And I'm definitely, I feel like this week I've dressed a little more crazy and more editorial, which I just think is really fun. And it is October so it does feel like it's the Halloween season and I do feel like whenever I'm in this zone and it's near Halloween I go places and people always think I'm wearing my Halloween costume. I've had that happen every single year. You know why not? So always play dress up. I'm gonna get dressed and I want to go back to something from Tuesday. I pulled out, hold on let me go grab it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I Played around with the idea of wearing this on Tuesday, but ended up not wearing it. But I want to wear it today. I just feel like this is so perfect. I feel like I'm in the 90s movie and interview with a vampire with Tom Hanks and Kirsten Dunst when I put this on. So something with this. So right now we're working with this leg of mutton, more Western inspired lace corset shirt. I, when I pulled together the rack, I pulled out anything that was cream and black and lace and drama. And so this shirt caught my eye for the inspiration. And I like that it's a, the idea of playing with some Western within this you know, inspiration. And then I grab these amazing leather black shorts that I've had forever. And for shoes, these are thrifted boots that I got a few years ago and they just always come into play during the fall. I feel like instantly I'm transported into a character when I wear these. I do want to add a layer to this and I'm thinking of grabbing a black vest. These are a little bit bigger in sleeves so it needs a bigger opening but I've got an idea. This is a vintage kind of tuxedo vest. I love it. It has somebody's initials inside. WM wore this. Maybe it was a band vest. I could see like a trombone player wearing this or a chorus singer or something. I don't know. But I like, oh wait, I need to add the collar. That's the whole point of this. Yes. I love this because it's a little dicky and if I have a collared shirt, I can, you know, slip it onto the collar the way you would put a tie and then wrap it around. But I also feel like just because of the style of this sh shirt and then wearing it with this vest it's just gonna look like it's part of the shirt and then I definitely think I want to button this up this is what we're working 
with. And I love that the vest is snug here. I just cinched it in in the back with a little buckle and then it lets the shirt kind of poke out just to add some color and to break up the black. And then I already had braids on because I knew that would be really cute. I did some little pearl earrings today too. But it's one of those days where I feel like I need a hat. I'm grabbing this vintage saucer hat. I found this at Golden Years Vintage Market. I gotta clip that in, but I think that'll be really cute. So this is where I have landed for the day. Definitely one of those days where I look like I'm in Halloween costume, but I'm not. I'm just channeling the coquette vampire. So from the bottom to the top. That is my Thursday for you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Friday. It's Friday and I've been making a mess here in my closet. I have half my outfit on this lime green little turtleneck moment. Again, we're having warm weather. So it frustrates me because I want to go full on fall and still sometimes I kind of do, but today I'm trying to be a little more practical for the weather that we're having. So I love this little top. It's old Forever 21. It's the, you could tell from the tag, it's maybe when Forever 21 first came out. Early 2000s, I think. I love the lime green and then I am pairing it with, let me show you. I'm pairing it with these brown, chocolate brown 70s pants. I love chocolate brown with pops of bright color. And continuing some color fun, these are Sam Edelman little sling black, sling backs. I'm loving uh, sling black. Oh my gosh, I can't say it. Sling backs, as you can tell, they're brand new. I'm gonna take the little tag do off. I'll do that in a second. But I like that little pop of blue with the brown, with the lime. And then over here is my layer. I'm liking this. I feel like a combo of Rachel from Friends and then Phoebe. I feel like Phoebe would wear this sweater. Rachel would wear just that and maybe a blazer. And then let me see if there's anything else I want to do. I think I'm changing directions. I put on the Gucci belt bag. I think I like just having something else going on. And then I put on this amazing, it's by um, the Maricon Court Project, which I love. She takes two different blazers or jackets and puts them together. I think this is fun, but then I might want to switch out my shoes now. I'm considering the pink shoe instead of the blue. There's something about this blue that's not working, even though it's kind of, there's just something that's not working and I like playing off the pink. So I think I'm going to go this route. All right. And little final touches. I did these really fun purple and gold button earrings. Kind of, I mean, it's all ladylike and not minimalist, but kind of minimalist, except for the blazer. Anyways, but a random mix that I like. It's like quirky business lady. So this is my look from the bottom in my messy closet to the top. And that is my look for Friday. It was fun playing dress up with you all week here in my closet, old school. And I just wanted to remind you and thank Scentbird for being the sponsor for today's video. If you would like to get in on Scentbird, you use the code VJonesStyle and you'll get 55% off at Scentbird. So make sure to click the link, use the code VJonesStyle. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday. And finally, always put your up. Bye. Bye.